Hey guys, Farmer's Wife here. So Farmer and I have owner built our own house and now we are starting in on our first renovation on a fix and flip. So today I just wanted to share with you guys three of my favorite ways to save on building supplies. The first one and the one thing that I just hammer every time I talk about building a house or any type of construction project is that you have got to plan. And I know that you're like, yeah, I know, plan, 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 farmer's wife. But that makes the biggest difference on saving money on supplies. And this is a total plug for my course, but plan your house, the course that I created to help people plan building their own house goes through and helps you write down every single thing that you will need for your house, the sizes, the colors, the square footage, everything. And the reason why, and I will put a link to that down below so that you can check it out, but the reason why planning is imperative if you wanna save the most amount of money is because you need time to shop for these things. You can't rush deals. And if you're gonna look for the deals, you have to know how much of something you need and what you need. Otherwise, you'll be wasting money on things that you maybe won't end up using, or you might buy the wrong size, or you might buy the wrong amount, or you might buy way too much extra, and you've gotta know that. You need to know square footage of carpet. You need to know the type of sink you want. You need to know paint colors, everything, so that when you see that deal, you can buy it right then and know for a fact that you will use it and that you are getting a deal on that. Okay, the second way that I love to save money on supplies is by um, places like Craigslist or Habitat for Humanity, whether some of them are online, some of them are not online, but I love shopping um, other people's leftovers, basically. Now, these things, I don't like buying building supplies like lumber or shingles or windows because you have to piece together. It's harder to find large groups of things you need and then you end up grabbing like 10 from here and 10 from there. Sometimes you end up with the wrong amounts and lots of times it's just not worth chasing down those deals. But any finished supplies or tools are great things to find um, at secondhand stores like Habitat for Humanity or online places like Craigslist because people are getting rid of those things it's every, like, for example, we just bought a farmhouse sink on Craigslist for $150. Um, she even, the lady who was selling it included the link for the actual sink. It was still brand new in the box. And the link showed that that particular sink was worth over $500. Um, so it's a brand new sink in a box. I don't have to piece together all these other things that I need. It's the whole sink, you know? Um, and we saved a ton of money. Like that was totally worth driving to go grab it. We made it all in the same loop as something else. So we ended up saving several hundred dollars and now we're going to use it in our renovation house. Um, so especially look for finish products like tile or sinks or fixtures um, and tools are another great thing. You just have to make sure they work before you spend the money on them. Okay, and then the third thing that I love um, are coupons or deals. Prime Day just passed this last week, unfortunately, but look for it next year if you don't already use Prime Day. Um, and on Prime Day, I bought a paint sprayer because we did our whole entire house without a paint sprayer. We hired a painter, but on our renovation house, we will not be hiring a painter. We're probably doing it ourselves. So I got this and on Prime Day, this was a $60 paint sprayer with high star reviews. And um, I got it for $32. Okay, so I'm excited to try that out. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but coupons and deals are, can you hear my kids in the background? Hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> the kids wanna be in on the movies. Coupons and deals are a great way to save money, but again, you have to have planned in advance to know what you need, because you can't just say, oh, that's a good deal, I'm gonna buy it, then it doesn't actually save you money. My husband always says, don't go broke saving money. So don't buy things just because they're on sale you need to look for things that are on sale that you need and you know that you will use. 
So in addition to Prime Day, I know there's a Way Day that is awesome. In fact, if you didn't watch the video um, from Queen Bee and Worker Bee, they talked about how they saved thousands of dollars using Way Day um, to get all of their tubs, sinks, um, hardware, those types of things. Um, and I'll link to that video in, um, in the description down below. That's the interview that we had um, with Queen Bee and Worker Bee. So you've got Prime Day, you've got Way Day, and then you've got Lowe's and Home Depot. If you sign up for their card, then you're on their list and you get their um, things in the mail. They'll mail you coupons and deals and also you get like 5% off or 10% off depending on what you're doing. So those are my three favorite ways to save money on building supplies. And speaking of coupons, um, at Farmhouse from Scratch we created a mini coupon booklet. It's got a few hundred dollars worth of savings in the mini booklet and we want to give that away to you today. So if you will subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below about your favorite way to save on building supplies, then we will send you the free owner builder mini coupon booklet. So make sure to do that. And then last thing I just wanted to show you some of the things that we grabbed um, at Home Depot this last week for our renovation because there's a few products that we're trying out that I'm really excited for. This first one is a tub and tile refinishing kit. Now, you wouldn't use this if you were building a brand new home, but if you are renovating a home, I'm way excited to try this out and see. There are lots of YouTube videos on it where you refinish an existing tub and there's lots of good reviews um, so we'll see how this one actually works out. I'm excited to try it. This is the Magic brand, um, and this is the one that Home Depot carries. So this was about $50, and if it works, that's awesome for an old tub that needs a little bit of an update. Um, I'm also switching to Frog Tape, which I've heard really good things about. We will see how this turns out. I hate painter's tape. I don't even use tape anymore when I paint things. I would rather trust my hand in the corners because it always turns out terrible. But I have heard frog tape is awesome. And so we're gonna try this out and I'll let you know how that goes. And then I also bought a random orbit sander, which is just a palm sander. Um, but this one's battery powered. And I did wanna say that if you are buying a bunch of your own tools, then pick a brand and stick with it because then you can use the batteries interchangeable interchangeably. If you end up with a whole bunch of different brands, then keeping track of the batteries is a nightmare. So, and I don't necessarily have a specific brand that I recommend. We use Milwaukee because um, before we started building, Farmer went to a farming thing and won a pack of Milwaukee tools. And so we had a bunch of them and we just kind of went from there. I don't have any complaints with Milwaukee. I really like them, but I do recommend sticking with whatever brand you start with stick with that so that you don't end up switching back and forth a whole bunch. Okay, so those are the things that we picked up this week to use on our renovation. If you haven't checked out um, the videos for our new renovation house, then I'll leave those in the description below. Make sure to check those out and see what we're working on now. And then don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment so you can get your free mini coupon booklet, which is good if you're building a house or if you're renovating one. So check that out for sure. See you guys later.